I'm going to order some food. You order uh, food now? You want to start? Uh, order food? Yeah. Yeah, we can start. I'll just grab it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see a, a guest is so fucking engaged. I think until he's fucking super up. stoked. Just start this shit whenever you want. <laughs> no, poop, make no. this make this count, Pooh. Yeah. Hey, shut up. Dude, no, you're done. <laughs> you're done. Oh no, if your kids and wife die, that'd be the worst yeah. thing ever. <laughs> I would cut off my legs just <laughs> yeah. so I could have that happen. Oh, <laughs> hands up. Yeah. Who's doing this? A Forty thousand bucks, right? Fight. <laughs> Oh my god. It's $500,000, man. I, this one, uh, I'd be like shitting right next to people to like yeah, gross right. them out, like making myself throw yeah. up. Uh, I had to test that out for the consumer. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, selfless. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. All right, so we get, I don't know what what episode's this. We should probably Come do on, man. one. Yeah, something. 51. <laughs> Two. Episode 51. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about doing a bit where I just tried to hold that voice for as long as I could, but broke immediately. It sounds so natural, too. He would have never suspected it. <laughs> yeah. mm. Like a cartoon pig. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yo, I, second well, guest on this podcast. First guest was a, a trans porn star, but second guest was your good friend, uh, Wilbur Soot. Right? Oh, yeah. I know him. Yeah. And so, like, years ago, you're going to see this clip. Don't comment about my weight gain since then, but yeah. <laughs> this clip's like almost two years old. If you want to listen to this, listen to what, what he has to say about you. Yeah, so I made this channel because there was a, Jesus I did, Christ, uh, do you know Jay Schlatt, YouTuber? <laughs> no. You will do. He's, I guarantee you he's going to be the next like big thing. Like he's going to be the next big game YouTuber. And you are, I... Isn't that nice? Dude, nobody ever that says anything. really nice yeah. of him. <clears throat> Nicest guy in the world. And he, he decided won't. to start a band and then stop talking to everybody. I was about to say he won't what? he won't respond to my DMs anymore. So no, and what's no. funny to is to be if fair, I... none of the Minecrafters do <laughs> yeah. with me either. Oh, uh, that Tommy Innit guy seems like nicest dude in the world. He responded to my DMs. I asked him oh, to be Tommy's on the podcast cool. and he was like, <laughs> uh, no. <nobody>. No, dude. <laughs> dude, Tommy no. <laughs> I feel like Tommy Innit watched one of those like Sigma male videos where it's like, dude, don't be don't be scared to just say no to things. Yeah. And then he's just he's just whipping his dick around everywhere, just like saying no to shit. I asked him, uh, yeah, I, I ask him to be on shit all the time. And he just says no. That's, I love that. That's way more beautiful than just I love bringing you on. I, yeah. yeah. And, then I, and then I just keep asking him because it's like, it's like almost a rush at this point. Uh, yeah. And Wilbur, on the other hand, just kind of ghosts you or deflects. Let's turn this beautiful compliment from yeah. Wilbur into just us shitting on him for like yeah. 40 minutes. Yeah, you know, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. I, I don't care for him. I don't yeah. care for his look. <laughs> no. I don't care for how he sounds. Dude, he made one He made yeah, one nice actor. song, and then he thinks he rules the fucking world. Oh, is he like a, is, is he a musician he now? Oh, dude, yeah, he's got a band. They're getting hundreds of millions of plays. And I just realized, you know how a lot of artists complain about... Uh, how little streaming services play yeah or pay you that's just bullshit apparently if you get like a hundred million plays on spotify you're making like half a mil really it's like Jesus more shit, it's right. like more than youtube which is <laughs> nuts because it's just a yo, fucking song bro i guess because yeah. of how there's no blood sweat and tears that goes into music <laughs> it's pure art i mean nobody's making like a like, is he like a boy band or what is he? I imagine like. Yeah, have you seen a, Wilbur? Come uh, on, it's obviously a boy band. Whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, he's a boy band. Yeah. He made like an indie. In, he made indie, an indie boy band. Yeah. Indie They're cool though. I mean, it's band. good music. It's good music. I'm happy that he's moved on to moved on past Minecraft. This is I think the worst. That's all like of our goals. Music, Minecraft you know? band. Yeah. This is the worst <laughs> shit talking <laughs> session I've ever seen. You they turn sample, that into positive they, stuff at the end. Yeah, they sample like creeper noises into all their songs. Oh, that's badass. Do you actually like the music, or are you just saying that to be, to be No, to be it's nice. good. It's you good. You listen to it on your free so, time? No. Yeah. No, I don't. Let's just turn this I into don't. backing him into a corner to say something <laughs> negative about Wilbur. <laughs> Prove it. Sing the song yeah. if you love yeah. it so I mean, much. I couldn't even tell you the name of the band, but, I mean, it's good music. Um, that's yeah. impressive to just do that anyway, yeah. yeah. Fuck, yeah. why do I keep complimenting the guy? Uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty, I mean. You played Duck Game uh, with him. I played Duck Have Game I think, once. Yeah, that's like my my experience. And then everyone's a cheating bitch, lying yeah. rip, piece of crap. I fucking ate him. Anyways, yeah, he's. And speaking. you did. Uh, speaking of past guests, you were on the Prices Scuffed. Yeah. Uh, just the oh. other day with Wubby. That yeah, was, it was Wubby. Yeah. 
That's the one thing I wrote down on my little paper. (laughs) So Wubby Wubby lives in San Diego. I hope I didn't just dox him there. But he messages me and he goes, hey, man, you want to come down to Nashville, Tennessee to film something with me? And I'm like, sure. I I assumed he lived there. But then I realized that we were staying at the same hotel. And he's like, oh, yeah, we just found a... Our guy who does all our shit is like, I have a space in Nashville that you guys should come to. I guess that's where they... (laughs) You know, get, like I guess so it's a lot cheaper, cheaper there. Yeah. 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 So we went down to Nashville and we just broke some shit. They had a, I mean, it was a fucking production. It was a fucking production. I, I was wondering, like, is Twitch funding all this? Because they had these huge wooden props for everything. Like, they, they had so much. They gave away an Audi R8, or like, we're going to, uh, right. as the grand prize. And they had it, like, in the studio, just sitting there. Um. You said but they no, were going like to. Funded. Did they end up not? <laughs> yeah, they were just so like, So it was... It, it was like the, Wubby was like, I'm not giving this away. <laughs> so if the if the price was right, then mm. you would have won the R8. But oh. it wasn't right. So, uh, no, he won an iPhone instead, I think. Okay. But, oh, and who, yeah. who put up the Audi? It was some insurance company. Oh. So the, something I learned that you guys probably don't know either is that uh, because you're fucking stupid. Yeah, I don't right? know shit. You guys really. don't know anything. Yeah. So there's insurance, there's game show insurance companies, and they're like, sure, uh, you pay us $2,500, and then we'll put up an Audi R8 for like, you know, one in 250 odds that the person wins oh, it. Oh, damn. Yeah. And so it's like this fucking insurance scheme where, where, you know, one person wins the Audi R8 every now and then, and they just cash out because of the odds are in their favor. Um, yeah, that's actually yeah. a genius business Scummy, idea. Scummy, but yeah, it's cool. And fucking Wubby funded all this, though. Like, he, he just put up all the money. Apparently, he did some, like, Raid Shadow Legends shit and, uh, <laughs> and just had the money. They're like, yeah, book first class. Book, you know, get this nice hotel. I and like I how like, you're, okay, you're blowing this right. out of proportion to be like this huge production when you just spent ninety five thousand dollars on a fucking monkey statue. <laughs> how does this right. man afford this? Well, hold on, giant hold on. I, I guarantee you, it no costs more than ninety five. I dress. guarantee you, it costs more than ninety five thousand to put on the production. All of his did. little assistants are like Mexican guys. There's no way he's paying them. <laughs> That's dude, why they're they great Texas. too. Fucking yeah. peanut. Yeah, he calls so one of them peanut dude. with peanut and uh, Carlos the gardener mm-hmm. yeah so if gardener. you had to pick a favorite which would it be oh peanut, peanut. oh wow okay, okay. So. yeah we'll be telling carlos yeah they, they yeah. will be hearing about that but yeah i just like saying peanut you know <laughs> you know it's it's a cute it's a cute little nickname yeah which one was the one he, that you he looks pretty over, short Sam. too i think that was <sighs> peanut. yeah peanut yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sam disrespected him the other day i didn't know his name <laughs> so i seemed like i was too big for my britches there for a moment but do you have any lackeys like that that? No, I wish, dude. Are you? Like I moved a to solo? Austin. I moved to Austin, oh, nice. and uh, I see the the only people I would trust to to do shit for me like that, like Peanut, are back in New York where I used to live. Um, because those are my buddy. Like, if you if you have someone that, obviously, Sam, you could probably relate. I don't know who. The, I don't know who. I don't know who Brian and Pooh are, to be honest. Just kind of like strangers lackeys. in my life. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> but you I mean, know. Sam, you've probably been at the point where you're like, fuck, I could really use someone to do all the shit I don't want to do. Mm-hmm. Who do you trust? Like, you're not just going to go to a company and be like, hey, I need a personal assistant or like, God forbid, go online and get a virtual one or something like that. You need someone in your life that that like you need like a day zero almost. Yeah. And so that's and, when you find someone that's already filled that niche for someone else like wubby and then you yeah, that's true you then i message take him. yeah and you go what's yeah. he paying you yeah, pay him more and yeah. Yeah, pay him a little bit more i should take peanut dude peanut's yeah. good and carlos i guess yeah, yeah just take them both just take it. them both <laughs> wubby doesn't need both of them seems really nice need, too why do you no one needs two yeah. okay everybody like should him. have at least one mexican working for them and exactly. he's got that's two it, and that's just <laughs> I've been screaming this from the mountaintop. (laughs) Yeah. Everybody (laughs) should get one. And Wubby's taken more than his fair share. (laughs) Girlfriend seems pretty nice, too. I mean, you might as well. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? How much does he pay her? 
don't know. <laughs> you should pay her I'm a little bit sure. more than she come over and eat. Maybe yeah. I do. Maybe I do. Yeah. Look, I mean, the whole the whole monkey thing was just me just like hitting buy with my debit card on a fucking website. I I, I need people to put bigger shit together. It's uh, it's cool seeing stuff like prices stuff though on Twitch, like people yeah. putting that much effort oh, and yeah. stuff. When yeah. there's people that stream and you know do like I'm gonna nothing. watch Yeah, I'm gonna Absolutely watch this YouTube nothing. video. I'm gonna watch this hour long Garfield yeah. video. You know, it's I hate it when people pretty do disgusting. That. Yeah, yeah. There's it's terrible. It's, it's just cool but, to see just just scum of the earth yeah. passion put into yeah. it. You know. Hey, if I went back to Twitch, I'd be doing nothing. I'd just be sitting there just like watching Daily Dose. <clears throat> Especially like at your size. You could you could just yeah like, i don't have this. to you could fart, you could TV. you could leave your camera off turn it on fart into it turn it off <laughs> could. mute could. it the I entire could, time you'd i'd be like yo guys 500 subs before i turn the camera on <laughs> just uh, just a text just text on the screen black screen with text on it yeah mike's not coming on <laughs> mike's not coming on until i get 100 of these you know what's funny though is there was that Probably play there was that Sorry, lady no. that did that and there was huge outrage over it like, really? oh well, yeah but well, yeah. she was a woman i was about to say if you did that there would be everybody be like, it would be hilarious. funny and ironic if i <clears throat> yeah, did it yeah. you know? so cool yeah i'd get away with it yeah not turning this shit on until i get yeah. not turning this on until you pay for another monkey statue so you guys i'm just gonna <laughs> leave this on and walk away <laughs> <laughs> and i better animals. have a second monkey statue oh, man. <laughs> i have all the tiny monkeys so i guess i'll give a little backstory because i'm not sure everybody knows but um mm. I, there was an there's an image I love of this monkey with his nuts hanging out and he's just like chilling. He's got his arms back. He's in a zoo enclosure. Like he knows nothing. He yeah. absolutely nothing going through this fucker's mind. But he has the most gorgeous pair of nuts on him. I mean, like they're they're supple. They're they're. I mean, like you can't miss them if you see this they're image. Huge. Your eyes it. your yeah, eyes go like straight there. Yeah. 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 And then, it, it random. How big is this Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no. Go go ahead. How, how big are the his, balls? How big is his penis? You'd oh, have to wonder. The penis is relatively yeah. small compared oh, okay. to the nuts. Yeah. You got balls okay. that big. I mean. Yeah. No, I mean. Yeah. 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 I mean, if it was, if it was, if it was proportionately sized, <clears throat> if you get hard, like all the blood goes there and then you just, yeah. you just lose consciousness. It's not as know? important for primates because they don't no. ask no. for consent. They're not there to attract <laughs> a female. <laughs> Something that can get in, get out with little ease. Exactly, exactly. The balls are what matters. The balls. I should have been a primate. You know those. You know those nuts have semen in them, for sure. Um, And so I I would gander. I would gander. Yeah, maybe. I'm not a monkey scientist, but. And so someone sent me this image randomly. I think it was Ludwig's buddy Slime. He just sends me this image of a blue one. It looks like a 3D modeled like object, and it's just sitting in this town square. Um, and then I do more. I like. I was like, "Where the fuck did this come from?" And so I reverse image search it, and it turns out that someone made a life like ten foot plus tall statue of this monkey, just recreated it. It, it and it was blue. The whole monkey was blue, and it just had these ginormous, just fucking big brass golden balls and it was just in prague they had it at like this the fucking town hall at prague in uh in the czech republic and my did first you... thought was like i need to go there did you um i tried to coward i booked like ten thousand dollars <laughs> worth of tickets <laughs> uh, me and my buddies booked a bunch of tickets to go there and we got this nice hotel, and our our plan was why to... a bunch? Why not? Yeah, just one thing just in case the enough. one fails, I'm gonna get every seat on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had like three tickets. I was taking two buddies with me. Oh, okay, I get a seat all right. For the monkey, yeah, on the way yeah. Back. You made it seem like yeah. just in case this seat has vomit on it, I got backups. Yeah. <laughs> just in case. But yeah. um, no, our plan was to go to Prague. <laughs> And then everybody's like, oh, well, you got to see, like, the castles and the rich history of this beautiful war-torn country. I'm there for monkey Fuck balls, that. dude. <laughs> Fuck that. Monkey balls, and I'm leaving. <laughs> we, were, we were scheduled to stay for one day, and our one day was go see the monkey ball statue. Um, it couldn't happen, though, because of United and their, like, stupid fucking policy about uh, PCR tests. So you needed one, like, 48 hours before you landed in the home, the 
destination country. And uh, because I needed a connection to get to the other place where I'd fly across the ocean, it just like I couldn't have taken the test yeah. uh, within the window. So it just couldn't happen. Um, and then my next thing was like, okay, well, I couldn't see the monkey in real life. So I, I did some more research. And the guy, the same guy, made, makes statues of them, like smaller statues. One of them was $95,000, uh, and it was seated on this nice wooden table. And uh, table I launched included. merch. I launched merch with the photo of the monkey on it uh, to fund this $95,000 statue. Oh, and yeah. it worked. <laughs> wow. And so is that the even, monkey is, is on Is that even way. remotely no. legal? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's his monkey, right? He's buying the monkey. Well, yeah, I, but before he dude, purchased I don't know. it, before he purchased I don't know. it, it was oh. definitely that guy's intellectual property. <laughs> yeah. Uh. No, well, I mean, it's just a. St he didn't take the photo of the monkey. Yeah, yeah. Some random dude took the took the photo wasn't of the there, monkey. Uh, okay. Wasn't there like and, a lawsuit where somebody took a photo of the Mona Lisa and then sold it as like fine art? And the Louvre Maybe. was like, "This is not okay." <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Honestly, probably. Not to but be a rat or anything. Sorry. I have not gotten yeah. a email from the guy who took the photo. Well, um, he's got ninety five thousand dollars. You don't even, and he doesn't have a yeah. fucking monkey sitting in no, his no, house. No, no, anymore. no, no. The guy who took the photo <laughs> the guy who took the photo is not even part of the story. The, yeah. There's the artist was just a guy who made who recreated the, Wait, so the monkey the in the photo. No, he yeah, didn't even take the cool. picture. He was just he was it's just as enthralled that. in the photo as I was. He, was. he had the same spell cast over him by this photo, and he's like, I need to make this monkey. Uh, yeah. You just had and then I was thing. like, I need to have this monkey that the artist made. And yeah. so I launched merch. <laughs> it was a recreation of the it's fair use. It's fair use, bro. I mean, yeah. sucked it off my ass. Okay. So we so we launched a merch and we we bought it. As well as a bunch of smaller, like hand sized uh, monkeys said, that the you artists said we also bought offered. it. Does that mean like everybody that bought merch also has a, it's like a timeshare? Share, well, I mean, we share I like weekends to, with the audience. <laughs> me and my, me and my two million friends uh, <laughs> bought this, <Yeah. laughs> bought this monkey. No, well, that was the pitch. It's like you. Once there's a monkey in the room, that's something you can say, you know, I, I contributed to this. Fucking you should, nice. You should nice wheel it on out end. on the weekends and be like, if you guys want to come by. I should. And Honestly, touch the monkey. we could make it. Here's the thing. He, off, he also balls. offers like $69,000 monkey statue. There's like a 60000 one. Mm. We didn't make enough money to buy all of them because there's many versions of the sp of the less expensive ones. Uh, um, merch season two. You got to get that fall yeah. catalog. Drop two coming yeah. out. Drop two coming out. And, um, oh, dude, the, the artist, <laughs> honestly, you, you'd expect, you'd expect the artist of a monkey statue with big, huge nuts on it to be a little bit, a little bit wacko, you know, but I'm yeah. wacko too. So, I mean, this guy emails me and he's like, Hey, balls be with you or some shit and he's like you guys you go want to do some nfts <laughs> about the monkey balls Dude, who took this i'm like nah, i'm good man i don't i'm not feeling fun. it i'm not feeling it wait so like no. the those the statue you got isn't like one of the ones that's been out in public anywhere no so no. it's it's a no. fake lack of tarnish on the balls he buffs it's, it yes with like so, an angle so, grinder no. or something so, he, simulates the touch of a thousand feels on those balls <laughs> so i got an email from sachi art which is the company that like i guess where he listed it where yeah. i bought it off of and they're like you know yeah the small ones are already on their way they should be in the states you know in in one to two days or something but <laughs> the artist has taken has taken the the big monkey statue back to his foundry in italy and is putting a fresh coat of patina on it or something. Oh, hell yeah. And I'm like, fuck yeah, this will, this will be real shiny when it gets to me. Nice. Yeah. So I'm going to have a monkey in here. Uh, it'll just be sitting there. Are just you on have the, it. Are you on like a first or like second story building? Are you like in a... Are there people uh, under you? First story. No, okay. it's a first story building. We have, we have the office uh, next to it too, so I could be as loud as I want. And... Uh, you know, we we definitely won't get the deposit back because there used to be a wall here 
Oh hell yeah! You just ripped that. Uh -huh. So yeah, you can see you can see this line right here. Yeah. Oh, There's God. no carpet because there used to be a wall there, and we're just like, fuck it, we'll take it down, and uh, make some some film sets. And we've been shooting shows here for uh, OTK, my my gaming org. Well, I was oh. thinking like having that. I'm sure that monkey statue has to weigh. Oh yeah. And, like how much? Oh. That, and I was thinking like if you're if no you're trying to clue. let's admit it, like streamers and YouTubers and stuff, they're not the brightest people. No. For example, I knew this guy once. He got an apartment or a place he rented it and started taking out like probably structurally significant walls in order to make sets. <laughs> and uh, and I was yeah. thinking like imagine if he brought in a giant brass monkey and then it like fell through the floor and killed a family underneath him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like a big ball sack yeah. and nail someone in the face. I was imagining like yeah. what if he's in an apartment and, like oh. a fire breaks out or something like weakens <laughs> the floor a little bit. <laughs> Oh, Four yeah. children dead in a nursery funny, from a giant <laughs> brass monkey <laughs> that fell through. Yeah, that you know, funky it's monkey. A hell of a story, though. That would be cool. <laughs> Almost worth setting up. Me and my <laughs> two million friends <laughs> <laughs> killed killed yeah. a family. All of a sudden, oh, the parasocial like relationships. Is <laughs> the blood is on all my yeah. subscribers' hands. Yeah. 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 I'd like to That's call just... in two million witnesses. <laughs> 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 Got to bring us all to the stand. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Master class, though, and just like, I'm going to use this picture on a PNG of a monkey, sell it, you know, $100,000. Oh, merch. yeah, dude. Just to I'm get a statue. Point. Like, that's fucking awesome. I'm past it's the so point lazy, of but... doing things for like, cla like, I, the last thing I care about is collabing with Mr. Beast or some shit. I just want to do things that, that are cool now. Um, yeah. And Although so. That Mr. Beast thing where you stand in a circle and whoever's oh, like the looks, last. Oh, that looks so fun. Oh, you make five hundred thousand oh. dollars from being in a circle for Dude, too long. I don't have access to five hundred thousand dollars. I would do whatever to get oh, those fucking oh, guys out of there. Would you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'd be like <laughs> shitty I would, myself. See now, yeah. I would watch it if uh, I watched the first. Uh, you know, we we filmed one of the shows we do back there is like just react because we are who we are and we're lazy fucks. So we just sit on the couch and react to the content. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that Mr. Beast video was something we we looked at, and they don't even show the winner. Oh, they don't. They end oh. the, they end this twenty minute long video being like, subscribe to see who wins uh, oh, in the next video. And there's like ten people left. You know what's funny Why? about those is they they put together all these personalities to do this, and for some reason the way they edit it, nobody says anything funny. There's no. no nothing happening in there. It's just like mm. you recognize this guy's face and this guy's face. We're gonna <laughs> hey put guys. him in a circle. <laughs> Carl's in this. <laughs> Carl's in this one. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you know all these people. Are, they have something funny to say, and they're not letting it happen. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, I mean, look, I I would watch it if it was like if it, there was like combat involved. <laughs> but all these people oh. are like friends. They're doing. They're making like TikToks in the circle together <sighs> and being all. <laughs> You know, fucking. It was like real know. primal, and like, yeah, you could For like real. do scare It's five hundred thousand dollars, man. I, that's I'd that's be a like, lot of fucking money. I'd be like shitting right next to people to like yeah, gross right. them out, like making myself throw yeah. up. Yeah. I'd I, be pissing up all over myself in my can mouth. You touch them at all? Or no, what? you can't touch other people. I don't think. Uh, but you know what you should do? That's boring. That's uh, boring, man. Yeah. You should put all these people in the circle, do the same thing, and then just let it rip it, like halfway through. Just be like, hey, by the way, in each circle, there's like a felon, like someone that's in there. For <laughs> One person predator. in this group yeah, is a sexual Among predator. Us. Yeah. <laughs> they, play the, they play the emergency <laughs> meeting sound. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody in your circle has like, AIDS, yeah. by the way, and you, they've been in, you've been in that circle with them for 40 minutes. <laughs> We've yeah. infected one of the contestants with COVID. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, there was... A, that would be interesting. A great idea, horribly executed by Mr. Yeah. Beast. Mm. Yeah. Wait, look at us. Just a couple people talking down to Mr. Beast, letting him know how he should run his channel. This is how he should do it. Yeah. This is how he should do I'm it. I'm sure he's got to listen to this and be like, I'll take this. You know, I'll write that down because these guys obviously have the, the key to it all. They know. <laughs> By the way, oh, in that Jay, or in that uh, that Wilbur Soot clip, at the end of it, I cut it off. But he was like, "Yeah, Schlatt's gonna be the next big thing." And then he he goes on to say, "And you are also gonna be big." He was wrong. <laughs> 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 Your boy, was he right? He was only fifty percent right. Like, <laughs> oh, he's trying to make you feel better. He dude. was trying to. Yeah, he was definitely yeah. trying. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, he was oh, like, man, you're going to be huge one day. <laughs> Dude, I fucking happen. love that guy. He was watching my open TTD streams. You guys know what that is? No. No idea. Oh, dude, it's a transportation simulation game from, like, 1994. Um, before, like, Roller Coaster Tycoon and all that, it, the same guy made this one, like, way back. Yeah. And uh, I would stream it to, like, 50 people, and Will would just show up and be like, yo, I, I love this game, you know? <laughs> and you just be oh, in the yeah. chat yeah and i'd be like hey hey man i i had like 50 subs <laughs> and wilbur was on his like soot house channel with like a million and i was like hey man i'll name a bus after you <laughs> bus 14 is now the wilbur bus or some shit like that <laughs> and then yeah you know, it's just it's, it was cool that dude's an og yeah you know? he, he's definitely a, a nice guy i i uh, told I, him for a long time he needs to ditch those fucking deadbeats at soot house start his own thing <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then i you know what i helped him do it oh, really the last couple yeah the last the the filming session i did with soot house was the last one ever really oh, <laughs> i think we filmed three of them and uh two of them got uploaded and the other one is just sitting there in it for eternity just not being uploaded oh you want to know one of the most grueling sessions ever was uh he, he, this might be why he doesn't talk to me anymore. He invited me to go <laughs> record something with uh, um, him and some other guy that does music stuff. And then that uh, Minx girl that you know. Oh, yeah. And we did not get along at all. <laughs> <It was> a, <laughs> you and Minx? Me, Minx, the other guy. And then, like, it was just like, there was very, <laughs> it was very like, all right, hit record. Let's be fun. And like, yeah. I would say 85% of everything I said got cut out of the video. They were like, this oh, is shit. not happening. Yeah. It was Jackbox or something like that. Uh, and I was you got in trouble for Jackbox? Yeah, oh, dude. it was vulgar stuff. I shouldn't have said some yeah, stuff. No, yeah. dude, Jackbox has gotten me in trouble a hell of a lot of times. Mm. I remember that, actually. There was something oh, yeah. about you getting canceled for some sort of stupid oh. Jackbox shit. Which, of course, Jackbox always just turns into the, it's worst. the point of the game yeah, the whole i mean point. people got upset because we played that game where it was like you know try and make <laughs> the other person's response seem as terrible as possible mm. and, let me uh, guess you did just, something horrible so, like make yeah. someone's <laughs> response terrible <laughs> yeah like there was a hitler joke or something um, which disgusting. is the point of jackbox and then people were like hey i don't understand the context oh uh, also I... the also the thumbnail was me going like this and then oh, there's yeah. just there's just a drawing of blackface on the other side, which probably wasn't my brightest moment. <laughs> yeah. But, nice. um, uh, yeah, well, see, that's why drawing. you need to get hey, the assistance. Hey, hey, I'm, hey, I, it's my right, time exactly. to talk. Shut up, because my then time. you can blame it on like Carlos. Be like, no, it's okay that this racist thing was because the yeah, Mexican Peanut made it. <laughs> <laughs> He's the thumbnail artist. <laughs> Peanut made that. Yeah. He's the racist. It's yeah, fine. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I oh, played what were you saying? the drawing game a fuck ton. Dude, I shouldn't have had that cookie. I am out of it. I am fucking <laughs> gone. But, uh, Dude, uh, who the fuck are on, Who's on your desk? Uh, it's They've been the just doing one. that jig the whole yeah. time. Uh, I don't know. I just love them. I just love them to death. <laughs> Especially the little monkey. Uh, it's like my favorite gift. I don't just, know. You know just, I just love them. Yeah. I just found it, you know, yeah. somewhere. But uh, yeah. Jackbox has gotten a lot of my friends and I in trouble. Just like... You played a party with a bunch of like girls or something, and then the drawing game is like the only one we like, and they never want to play it. We go so hard, like you know, I've bust out a fucking stylus before, and I'm in there like <laughs> yeah, drawing yeah. like intricate, like people opening their assholes up and like, <laughs> like seeing like guts and stuff, and people are like, "Who did that? Like, who was that? Or like, <laughs> who could it have been? Yeah, yeah. like my and friend you're once with like, your drawing glove, <laughs> you know? The <laughs> yeah." yeah. <laughs> Hands up. <laughs> Who's doing this? Yeah. <laughs> I might have my fucking beret on, yeah, but uh, yeah. <laughs> no, my friend once, yeah, he did like a swastika and something, and they were straight up like, all right, who was this? Like, <laughs> which break? Because there's like 15 people in the room, and it was like almost like a like manhunt. Like, it was horrifying because I knew it was him. I, no one else there would have done it. No, nah, I would have been inserting those every party just to get <laughs> yeah. that moment again. That sounds yeah. way more fun than Jackbox. Yeah, no, I, the who done it? The racist yeah. who done it? Yeah. Yeah. That's the thrill. Great. Yeah. yeah. God, it was exhilarating. <laughs> a uh, bunch of Jewish girls like wanting to kick yeah. us out of the house. Oh, Wait, when the fuck did he get bigger? 
Oh, <laughs> the gif. Yeah, it's a really long gif, and it, yeah. it slowly grows and shrinks. Yeah. Does it oh. really? Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> no. The second but, you brought yeah. it up, yeah, he can made you get it a statue little... of one of these made uh, for the Forehead Fables, please? We need yeah. merch for Forehead Fables. Now that I know, well, I guess we we don't have to pull you do, but. We could probably fund something. What like, we should do is take a picture of that little monkey and then use it to <laughs> finance. Or like we, maybe we can make a suit. Like I'd be good with a suit I could wear. That's mm. that. Well, that might get <laughs> risky, but if I could get a big monkey suit like that. Yeah. Or like I can a- send you the the clothing we made of the monkey nuts if you guys want it. <laughs> oh, hell it, yeah. Yeah, for free. I'll send oh, it to you. Oh, hell free. yeah. You don't even have to pay. Free? You know- one of the best things this is the best career decision you've made. You're you're gonna benefit so much from me advertising you. Yeah, let's just wear it every podcast forever. Yeah, wear now. it every podcast. It will be like we're helping make Schlatt a, a big yeah, guy or, out there. Or just like frame it, put it behind you on the wall. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or or we could just fucking burn them on camera. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, do it, dude. Is I my still- tongue yellow? Yeah, look, oh, I was going to yeah, ask about it. Do you have, like, there. jaundice or something? What the fuck? Oh, what is that? <laughs> is that a year? A- <laughs> Our org is sponsored by this Mountain Dew shit. Oh, God. So, Mountain Dew I guess fuel? It, oh, I guess God. it turns your tongue It's supposed color. to go in a car, I think. Wait, you get Jesus sponsored Christ. by it? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. They, they signed the contract before I became a, an owner. Oh. Huh. But, yeah, it's like I guess it's like some pretty petty shit. That's awesome. It tastes oh, good. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's the best thing I've ever had. Uh, we, my we tongue almost, feels like it's dying, but it's great. My tongue we, is on fire. <laughs> we almost got a sponsor for Boner Gum, uh, oh, but that yeah. fell through, and that's about the closest I think we've gotten to a sponsor. Wait, wait is yeah. that Blue Chew? Yeah. yeah. Right? Turns yeah, out it's not yeah. a gum. It's just like you just chew pills like a I fucking... I thought that was like chewing yeah. tobacco or <laughs> like something. Like a soft boner pill. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, just fucked that up. Would have been That's sick, not though. nearly as cool as like popping gum. Yeah, it does. but like we should have like just been popping them the whole time, and at the end we all stand up and they just see like the full <laughs> rage. The sides, it's like yeah. who got bigger, you know? Yeah. You're yeah. about to have sex and you're like, hold on, and you pull out just like a pack of gum. <laughs> yeah, Dude, that's a gas station fucking. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw an old woman the other day buying like four packs of like. It was called like rhino oh, sex or oh. something. It was just, oh. like it was so humiliating because she definitely didn't th- was hoping no one would come in. And I walked in and I had to wait right behind her and she paid with like quarters and it was like <laughs> like gruelingly long. Where I'm like, what are you, like those well, you're gonna die if you take this or if you give them to a guy. Like, um, dude, there's have this- you ever done any like gas station like fucking the sex, sex bills or anything? Yeah, anyone <laughs> just to see what happens. Um... I bought a, a I boner ring out of the bathroom stall <laughs> once at a quarter machine. Yeah. Cock ring. <laughs> no no yeah. lady involved or anything? You just wanted to nah, wear it under your I pants? Just, I wore it and turned <laughs> off. And yeah, it was just worse than normal. <laughs> My hand hurt really bad. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, I've, n- I've never had any supplements or anything like that. I've, I've taken it once and oh, nice. it what, didn't you? work. No, no, it didn't work. I don't even remember the fucking name of it. But it didn't work, and then I woke up in the night with a painful, painful erection. <laughs> and it would oh not, it would not go away. Did like uncomfortably it? stiff. Uh, I wasn't under the influence uh, of anything else. It was just that shit. God, terrible. God. I would have taken a lot of pictures that night or something. Like you gotta do something with it. Like, <laughs> unusually you gotta do long. Something like a yeah. photo shoot for I, it. I call it a hooker over or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Put my cock ring on, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. do a little photo shoot. <laughs> Have you guys damn. ever had like a, a social faux pas with a boner? Oh shit! What? What? No, I don't think so. Like besides, you know, like the middle school where you're like, shit, I'm gonna have to walk with the binder in front of my pants or something. Like that. Sometimes I get them in class, yeah, and I'm in <laughs> yeah. college, no. and I'm like, oh. I just shot snot out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're you're disgusting. Uh, are those the new? Oh, you got the new ear pods you were gonna get for the podcast. Uh, yeah, I, I got realized. these because I, re- I realized regular viewers, like ninety percent of people that watch YouTube videos, it's on like cell phone audio or like earbuds. Yeah. So I was like, I'm I shouldn't be mixing stuff with nice headphones. I should probably give it a once over with some shitty That's ones. True. 
Oh, you know? I see what you're saying. Just, I, also, it makes you look grounded because you have cheap shit headphones now. Just they like never all know. Your they never know how yeah. arrogant I am. I'm hiding it yeah. with yeah. the headphones. You're hiding the, the headphones in a tie pickle yeah. shirt. That shows how humble you are by getting giant bronze monkey balls. <laughs> <laughs> just to. Yeah, just so people don't think, don't realize just yeah. how humble I am. I'll, I'll surround myself with opulent statues. Keeps you and, relatable. Yeah. yeah. I'm past the point of being relatable, man. Oh, I saw I, a Sasquatch statue in Tennessee the other day, like last week. Did? And yeah, I was fucking close. I was in like Gatlinburg area. And uh, I, I just like, I, I'm not there yet. But one day, like my spending habits are already so poor. No, okay, Sam, <laughs> listen. Give me more money, you know. I won't. I'll spend the podcast money wisely, but my, you know, other money. I just buy a lot of dumb shit, and it's like, Christ, like I want a mannequin so bad. No, don't even. Like, oh. <laughs> I want the robot. Get I want the Tesla robot. The Tesla oh, robot. Wait, buy that yeah. shit. Oh, like, dude, I'm gonna make that. I'm, I'm buying it, one. A mask on it. Oh I'm making God. merch. That's We're buying. The first thing any streamer with any cloud is gonna do is they're gonna get one of those to just bring them shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Chips, God! It would be drinks. so. It would be so uh, cool though. It would be so yeah. cool. Just sit gonna... down and have it put on your headphones for you. <laughs> yeah. you, you, could, you could put yeah. like an ultra realistic mask on it too. And just then, dress it up know, like just a person. Go from there. Yeah. Make it look yeah. like as human as possible. Yeah. Really like I'm uncanny merch, valley. Dude. I'm gonna make robot merch and then oh. buy as many as I can. Yeah, I'll be able to get. Look, I mean, they're they're like forty thousand bucks, right? Fight. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! How great would that be <laughs> to, 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 to <laughs> grass like you get everybody to, and then you dress them up like people and then just have them fight yeah. on stream until they're Dude, disabled. Like a boxing league. Hopefully, or some they're, shit. hopefully they don't have good fighting moves programmed into them. You know? <laughs> Did you In see the I... stats on these things? It's like it could deadlift 175 pounds or something oh, like. Can carry oh, you. That would be the best part. Yeah, just having it like hold you. And yeah. Just, like if you could have it walk you places, that'd be the most. Have you seen a Clockwork Orange where that <laughs> oh, the, the guy in the wheelchair has the bodybuilder carry him up the stairs? Yeah. I would just have uh, one of those things carry me in my wheelchair everywhere. I'm not even disabled. <laughs> yeah. well, okay, and they said 175 pounds, Sam. Let's get real here. I would I mean, lose yeah. every bit of weight I needed. I would cut off my legs just yeah. so I could have that happen. It's your new legs. You don't yeah. even need them if you have that yeah. thing. I don't need these oh old shitty God. ones. I bought this oh, one. Dude, you could you could have it pick you up, hold you straight up, wear like a trench coat, and you'd look like a nine foot tall man. And no one would even they would yeah, never even would. know. Hell yeah. Mom, sorry, we're putting you in a house, and also, and also here's this fucking Tesla robot to look after. You. You're gonna have sex with it, probably. Dude, yeah. Dude they're forty thousand bucks. Forty. I, that's it. I reckon I could. That's not I even we, as crazy. It's not as much as a monkey stash. I reckon we buy two. We pit them together. That would be fucking sick. My oh wife's my losing her car. I'm pulling that loan into getting a Tesla robot. <laughs> Hell yeah. Holy shit. I thought they'd be more, but it's like, it's still, uh, you know, a fuck ton of money. My family, yeah, if I somehow ever bought something like that, they'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. But oh, yeah. what did your parents think about you buying the, the fucking monkey with the balls? My mom called me and she's like, oh, we're starving. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you bought a, I heard you bought some artwork. And I'm like, yeah, I did. Um, it's gonna be that. coming in a couple. <laughs> yeah. It'll be here in a couple weeks, mom, and mm -hmm. you can you know live Just, out all your fantasies with it. Yeah. I'm gonna suck on them. I gotta like there has to be some <laughs> contact with my body to those nuts. There mm -hmm. has to be. Yeah. Well, before she comes over, nothing. make sure to put like. Make sure they're like obviously have been yeah. something's been going yeah. on there. Yeah. Bite marks somehow. <laughs> put, some, put some like lube on them or something. So when she touches, they're like wet. Ooh, why yeah. does it feel That's like a that? condom? Mm. Yeah, I think it's like some preservative yeah. thing they put on the monkey. It's not anywhere else on his body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm gonna wax. have so much fun with that fucking thing. <sighs> but like a it's got such a conversation get... starter too. You bring a girl home, just a giant fucking monkey statue, and, and you say, "Hey, babe, want a want a little taste?" Yeah, want a touch? You know? Yeah, I've Guess heard how much that costs. I've what? heard that having like a streaming setup is like one of the biggest deterrents for women. Do oh, you yeah. think? Do you think like you know having the three monitors, the keyboard that lights up, and everything, and all that shit, and they walk in, they're like red flags. This ain't good. 
yeah. this guy's a fucking <laughs> no, dork. I mean, but do you think the monkey statue offsets oh, that? That would, that would help. Like yeah. pure. Yeah. I mean, I ideally, because I'm in an office, maybe I take the monkey statue for my house, and then yeah. uh, she doesn't come yeah. to the fucking office, so yeah. she doesn't Smart. see the setup. She just sees my bed and the fucking monkey statue in it. Nothing else. And then you mattress on the floor. Wolf. No bed frame. Nothing. <laughs> You pass yeah, the threshold though, where like at your level it's cool again. Like it's like not cool to be like oh, an no, affiliate it's not cool, streamer man. or something. It's like no, being like, a musician is yeah, great when like, you're uh, Jay Z, but it sucks when you're well, the guy playing this, in the subways. You know, I don't have this fucking Hans Zimmer like giant room of of just like <laughs> organs and shit that I play. It's the same setup you guys have. You know, yeah, I'm just like well. you. Yeah, but ours just is like pathetic. <laughs> ours, yeah. is, yeah. ours is pathetic no. in, in comparison. No, I just mean like I would probably, you know, I if I'm telling a girl what I do, it's probably a lot harder for me to be like, yeah, it's like a podcast, you know, with like three guys and we just yeah. kind of talk like about PewDiePie, nothing. It's like PewDiePie, but minus yeah. the money that makes him feel like Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so when they see, you know, your monkey statue, they already know you're in a higher league. Yeah. I could just cool. say I'm an art collector too. Yeah, he's no, gonna that's set cool the standard. Too, this is what's gonna yeah. suck is because women are gonna talk to Poop now, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, you?" He's like, "Yeah, I do a podcast." You're gonna be like, "Oh, do you have like a monkey statue or something?" To, that's like the status symbol. <laughs> what, where's your no. art? We're working on it. The monkey statue is uh, coming. Uh, <laughs> I do have a robot though. Yeah, well, no, just test the uh, robot dressed in a human suit. Is that cool? <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. So you bought that shit outright or you get that finance? Yeah. Yeah. We bought it. We bought it. <laughs> With interest rates this low, I would have financed the shit out of that. <laughs> Was he going to come fucking repo your monkey statue back? <laughs> I don't know. I felt like it was, I, it's one of the, I'm going to get serious for a second. That, looking through I your windows being, <laughs> for a monkey. I hate having debt though. Like I, I, I hate having to pay things off. Like I'd rather just get the money situation sorted and then not have to worry about it. Yeah, but that's just me. It was mm. just easier to buy the buy it outright. Sachi was doing this sale; they had a ten percent off thing because oh, we that's... get, dude. It's <clears throat> awesome. We signed up. We we just p put our email into the site, and they're like, "Congrats, you get, you know, you get like ten percent off any purchase on the site." And then <laughs> we scammed them out of like ten grand. Yes, oh hell yeah! Christ, it's it, it wound up. Yeah, it wound up being like eighty-seven after tax Ooh. and everything with this with the sale. So oh, not too bad. Yeah. yeah, not bad. A steal. Mm. Uh, not too bad, uh, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Might have me dude. buying one of those. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Uh, my uh, my wife's fucking like, dude. If I have to use this like shitty college microwave for one more day i'm going to kill you <laughs> like if i bought yeah. a ninety five thousand yeah. dollar monkey statue when, when she's using this like Baby, cuisine art this fucking microwave or whatever oh, that you got from walmart You're just i'm in the same fucking situation though i live in a dump i'm in an apartment right now that doesn't have furniture in it uh, the last house i was in um all the light fixtures were broken like the the carpet had a huge grease stain in the middle Everything was just like I've never lived in luxury. Uh, this monkey was is my first like it's my, it, me dipping my toe into into higher class living. You know? yeah. it sounds like you like living in the filth though, and you, you know, like the kind of something nice about it. Yeah, I mean, it uh, it, it does ground you a bit. Yeah, I I, I look I at those couch, people I... like like filthy Frank. His he had like those cooking videos. His fucking place was disgusting. Oh, Jesus Christ, it was, yeah. it was. It was absolutely gross. barbaric. And I was like, what the hell? And, and, and <laughs> even um, <clears throat> I talked to Charlie about that, the um, critical, like his house looks like dog shit. Like they, <laughs> they never have anything in their house. Like YouTubers, I'll streamers, it's up. always just like this empty white walls, yeah. nothing on the <clears throat> walls house. Nope. And there's always a room full of boxes. Yeah. And just like trash. Yeah. I, so I'm moving in with a buddy of mine who just finished building a house. Um, and it's Texas, so it's really like it's an extravagant house. Like there's a there's a lot, and I I have like two rooms in it. One of the, the first thing I said to him when he asked me if I wanted to live with him was like, dude, if it looks anything like your current house, which is just fucking boxes 
thrown everywhere. There's like a motorcycle in the middle of the in the middle of the fucking living room. <laughs> Actually, and, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. But it's like it had clothes draped over it, and I'm like, dude. Yeah. I mean, like it, it can't look like this. Yeah. I take an I take my completely empty apartment over over living in squalor like that. Yeah, but. Um, but on the other end of that is because we are in kind of a, a, a female deterring area mm. of work. If you walk into a guy's place and he's got the monkey statue and a motorcycle in the living room. <laughs> That's true. It doesn't matter how many have, RGB cool. keyboards you yeah. got. Like, you can have like clothes song. everywhere in a You want to like fuck that, on the yeah. monkey or on the motorcycle? <laughs> <laughs> or, or on the mattress on the floor. Those are the three places that we yeah. have. Yeah. <laughs> No other uh, furniture or anything. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to, mm. you know, decorate my place a little bit, but I ordered furniture like months ago and it still hasn't gotten here. And so I just like, I, I eat dinner on the floor watching like always sunny <laughs> on my fucking apartment floor. My cat is just like taking over the place. He ate, he just, I, he's getting fat. My cat's getting fat. I don't know if you guys knew, uh, but he... He ate ten fridge magnets a couple weeks ago. The fuck, Jesus Christ! Yeah, like these, <laughs> these tiny peel them foam off? letters. He's got a taste. Of that. He swatted them off oh, somehow, dude. I come home strong. from from work, and there's no more magnets left on my fridge. <clears throat> oh. And I'm like, I don't know how they got how he got them because they're at the top, and he would have had to jump and swat them off. But he got every single fucking one of them. And he, and ate, he ate like he ate like ten of them, and there were three <laughs> on the floor. Christ. And uh, we had to cut them open and, and oh, take them out Christ. of his stomach before they got into his <laughs> intestinal tract oh, yeah. and then stuck together because they're fucking magnets. And oh, like God, tore, yeah. Tore them apart. Is this like a, a, a homebrew home surgery or is this yeah. like at the vet? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I grabbed my scalpel and I yeah. you know, made a little incision. No, he took him to the vet and uh, he stayed overnight for two days, I think. And then, oh, that's scary. you know. I don't know yeah, anything about it, magnets, but why don't they just take a piece of metal and just like go up his yeah. throat with it? Because <laughs> it would they would fucking tear him apart. And then like half like halfway up, you get that sexy bulge in his throat. You ever oh, see like dude, you ever yeah. seen the porn where they like lay the bitch on her back and then they you get the throat bulge? Yes, yes, dude. I've always wanted to see that in a cat, cat, and I've they got too many. <laughs> my first, my first idea, because I was with my buddy, we we had just. We were filming a, a little project with him, like a coding project. And so I came home with him and and uh, my first thought was like, OK, well, should I push the cat against the fridge to see if there was like any pull? Yeah. But he's like, no, nah, dude, that could that could seriously fuck yeah. him up. Hmm. And so they yeah. had to just they had to cut him Jesus open. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's really good. And now I, and I was just like, OK, well, what am I supposed to do now? The cat is going to eat anything like he'll eat magnets if he's if he's hungry. So I've just been open feeding him like he just got a huge bowl of shit 24/7 and he's just getting big. I don't know what to do. I don't know that I, I don't know the middle robot. Room. Naturally, like, no, they'll just keep eating, bro. I thought that was just they'll dogs. Just keep eating. Like if I just fill, nah, if I just have an endless dog bowl, my dog will just sit there and just bop, 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 constantly eating. Yeah. But I thought cats were a little bit I just realized yeah, cats have more self-control than me, but usually maybe, maybe <laughs> they, they just eat enough and then walk away. Yeah. Maybe nope. your cat's just stupid as shit or something. Yeah. Oh, he is. Oh, he's stupid as shit, <laughs> okay. dude. Everybody oh. in Austin that I know has a cat. Um, and they're all very bright. But the the thing is they're they're not friendly, right? So my my buddy Jambo is his name. He is the most friendly fucking cat. Every time I come home, I'll hop on the bed and he'll just like jump on after me and just like cuddle up with me for for a couple minutes um but he is just so dumb like you look at him for a bit and his eyes just start like kind of curving the opposite direction you can just tell you just tell that he's not all there yeah, um, someone should shoot that fucking cat <laughs> we gotta put it down i would have i dude i would have but he gets so many likes on twitter oh yeah uh, okay. gotta keep that going yeah that sucks dude. when an animal gets just enough likes you can't just Kill it in cold blood. That's, that's the worst thing in the world. Oh God, yeah, you know. I I had to watch my mom's dogs, and I had like the very very similar thing where I realized some dogs you look them in the eye and you realize there there's nothing fucking staring back at you. No. <laughs> and my mom's got two brain dead, basically retarded dogs. Yeah. So they slept outside for the entire week. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Yeah. 
Uh, I had a special cat that uh, was like cross-eyed. And he couldn't jump up on like a bench. He'd just sit there and meow until you picked him up and put him on. <laughs> he was really cute though, and he was like all chunky, but. He definitely got eaten by coyotes because he was just stupid as shit. Like, <laughs> or he probably just walked into like a hole somewhere. Like, I don't know. He probably <laughs> shouldn't have been out. an outdoor cat, but he'd just get out. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> little, little brother. <laughs> little brother, dude. Little brother somehow still goddamn alive. Uh, oh, this is kind of stuff. funny. Like, this happened on stream, but uh, Schlapp, for you, you don't know that. Uh, poops roommate's dog is named little brother it's got no eyesight and it's got no <laughs> sense of hearing yeah. it's completely no. alone in this world just existing <laughs> and he went to he went to go downstairs to get a drink or something furniture. and little brother had gone through the doggy door <laughs> and but then like while he was halfway through the fucking guillotine thing came down and like trapped him at oh, his neck yeah and so oh, he was just shit. like <laughs> just stuck <laughs> with his head <laughs> through the door <laughs> It's storming like super hard outside too and then later like i found a lamp had fallen off a shelf and landed in his dog bed while he wasn't in it and i'm like like this is like something's trying to kill this dog yeah. and, dude i think he's fucking faking part of it because i have to put my dog's food up like on a couch when little brother's here because he's only here every once in a while <laughs> he's pretending to be no, and, like, little brother. it's it's the best name ever and like yeah. i fucking caught him the other day standing on the couch eating my dog's food and i was like ah oh! and he turned and then jumped off the couch and like i've never seen this dog it can't walk up a stair and i'm like well, like what the fuck just happened like okay, well first Fritz of can... all dude like what? when you lose a sense you gain so Heightened, since right. he has super smell. So what is he? Little brother, little brother probably's got like sonar or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> heard the waves it. of you going, ah, like he felt it. Yeah. <laughs> Vibration though. Yeah. And he yeah. jumped Dude, down my, and the danger was coming. My one of my podcast hosts, uh Ted Nivison. I'm laughing so hard at Little Brother because Ted had a uh he had a stuffed animal called Favorite Puppy. Oh my god. <laughs> Just, it's just like the same kind of vibe. It's yeah. just so dumb. Um, you know what? Our <laughs> editor, puppy, that's so good. Our editor was convinced it was Ted in a vision. Is it Ted? Oh, Nivison? everybody! I everybody still gets it wrong. He hates it so much too. That's oh. his actual name. His name is Ted Nivison, and it's oh, just it just right. makes sense. It's like a radio. It, it's such a personality name, Ted in a vision. Yeah, it just makes sense. You know, yeah. makes sense for a YouTube <clears> channel, all that shit. Everybody gets it wrong. Our merch site, when we dropped Monkey Balls, uh, we had him on the site as like a, I don't know, what, what do you call it? Like a, a recommendation, right? Oh, yeah, so like yeah. a quote by him. And even the even our merch team got his fucking name wrong. He oh. messages me. He's like, hey, uh, it says no vision on the site. And we left it. <laughs> it's uh, pretty bold to just have your full name out there. Like yeah. I know a lot of people like really are serious about their privacy won't even give away their first name and stuff so mm -hmm. bold, yeah. bold move bold like move. that swagger souls guy he was very yeah uh, and his name oh, yeah. of course is <laughs> yeah. yeah he told us and he lives in yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he uh he was very concerned about his privacy to the point to the detriment of oh, yeah, him he doesn't even show his fucking yeah face. like i saw yeah. i saw a video of him like fishing with his friends in australia it looks like it's 150 fucking degrees outside he's <laughs> yeah. got this oh yeah a uh, sweatshirt and a koi fawn and uh, everything i'm like dude you're yeah, dying man. out there like <laughs> he's got his he's got his chain mail on he's in <laughs> he's terrible. on a sailboat with a fucking chain mail on like i would yeah. be hot as hell imagine <clears throat> imagine him trying to navigate around in a convention with his fucking <laughs> night helmet on yeah. with two little eye slits yeah it's, it's crazy seems dude. like uh. more like so much more work than it's worth like you'd always be stressed about like a leaked photo or something <laughs> like i mean i guess also it's part of the you know the, the draw are, yeah, yeah, yeah or like yeah. oh what you know? what could he look like well i mean i mean i was why, very why? stressed when when i when my face wasn't out there i'd get paranoid about everything um but it's kind of like a weight off your shoulders once you're out there like once the information has been leaked and people found it, yeah. like it's just like okay, there it is. <laughs> I can't, I can't do anything about it. Um, it's time to stop worrying about it. What's the security like, difference between like Ted Nivison and and Swagger Souls? Like, has Ted had any? Like, he hasn't had I any crazy know. fans. I don't think so. I think he you know I mean? the last fan experience he told me about was uh, 
he was out to dinner with his girlfriend and um someone recognized him at the restaurant and they had <laughs> they paid for his for his bill Oh, nice. I wonder if Swagger Souls has had anybody pay for his yeah. bill. So I mean, <laughs> probably not. Probably no way. Not. Yeah. He's a fucking loser. Unless they yeah. heard him order the menu first. Yeah, yeah. like, what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, he, hey. real voice. That has to be. <laughs> I'll have a burger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get that, that, that man's tabs on me, dude. I don't mind that. I recognize, I recognize that, voice, that anywhere. voice anywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I've been wondering about that, but now I got like kids and stuff. I don't think I would want anybody to yeah. know my address and everything. Yeah. They know what your kids look like too. Man. Yeah. And then everything would come unraveled. Oh no. If your kids and wife died, that'd be the worst thing <laughs> yeah. ever. Well, yeah, I, would, oh, I would be more time to stream, more time to podcast. <laughs> I was about to say, I'd be completely untethered and be free to yeah, finance monkey balls. I wouldn't have to buy new microwaves all the goddamn time for my <laughs> bitch wife. Yeah. Wouldn't need you the headboard anymore. Tesla family no to more replace bed them. frame. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, coincidentally, I, I don't know if you if you smoke or anything, but but it's no. a it's illegal in your state actually. Right? It is. Yeah. Um, I would never. <laughs> I uh, I've <laughs> yeah, been I've been hiding the fact that basically every podcast like I <laughs> I smoke before and and uh, I've been hiding that from my wife because I I could feel that she is not the person that would be into that at all. Well, then your wife you don't know if your wife condones smoking. Nah, we really don't He's, talk a whole lot. We're just partners. We've known each other partners. since how long? <laughs> yeah. How long have you guys yeah. been dating? Since seventh grade. <laughs> Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's been a hot minute. Holy fuck! I don't really know much about wow. her, but uh, I feel like <laughs> I feel like she ain't the type she of gal to answer. condone those. So, anyways, mm. um, a dear friend of ours uh, sent some stuff in that contained a you know a, a vape pen, and she got the package, and she goes like, "What the fuck's this?" And I'm like, "Well, it's a." Uh, it's a Maybe package. It's a, it's a pressure, package from it's a my friend. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. no, I open it up and it's like it's a bunch of pins, like gel pins, and one of the <laughs> one of the gel pins has been replaced with a vape pen. Whoa! And she fuck? was like, "Why would your friend send you gel pins?" And I was like, "I'm gonna level with you. This is there's like a weed pin in here." <laughs> She's like, "Oh, you told her." <laughs> and then she didn't speak to me again for an hour and a half. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Just an hour and a half cool yeah. when, when did this so happen? Bad. This happened right before. Like I haven't spoken oh, to her this afternoon. Dude, this happened. Holy we ate oh lunch. Okay. We ate lunch. I told her what it was, and then and then I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna go do the podcast," and she was like, <laughs> "Okay, just, so she yeah. yeah." So I might <laughs> end up having life. some sort of horrible fight later, but mm. because we've been dating since seventh grade. She's what are you gonna do? Break up? Yeah, she's terrified yeah. of navigating the, the dating world. She's stuck and with you. And you know how to fight yeah. her really well, too, because all the time you know her moves and stuff. So yeah, I know how she thinks. Yeah, <laughs> I can get yeah. inside her mind. Yeah, yeah. you know how to, you know how to <laughs> mentally <laughs> torment her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, wait, it's if she leaves me, great. I'll know that she's. <laughs> In somebody else's yeah, house, okay. bitching about the microwave. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're like really good at gaslighting her at this point. So, yeah, yeah, um, that's crazy. That's such a long time. It is a long time. You know, it's the craziest part though is over that period of time, you get to kind of mold their mind like you would a child. Yeah. Oh, and so, so now she yeah. thinks that having three monitors and a light up keyboard is the hottest shit in the world. Oh, cool. I didn't have okay, to buy a ninety five thousand okay. dollar monkey statue in order to get any cash. <laughs> I just got a bit like that. You got three monitors. Whoa! And then I get my dick sucked. I don't get my dick sucked. This is, this is marriage you we're talking you, about. You don't buy an auto blow if you get your dick sucked. Yeah. Uh, I had to test that out for the consumer. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, selfless. What's Hero. an auto yeah. blow? It's like a, it's like a <laughs> is master a Tesla, base. Is that a Tesla robot mod? It's like a yes, flashlight should that be. sucks your dick for you. Yeah. yeah. Completely underwhelming. Yeah, they both have them, actually, don't you? Oh. Wait, do you have one, Shut? Uh, no, I don't no, know. No, I meant Brian? Uh, Ryan. Brian, do you have one? Oh, I don't have an auto. No, I have an auto. Oh, okay. You've definitely oh. tried Sam's, though, right? No, I remember I, I brought it up, and yeah. Brian, like, acted all interested. Like, he's like, oh, maybe, like, what's the review? And then he pulls out this, like, it looks like Mega Man's gun. It looks like a like Mega Man. Like, he has a different Buster kind cannon. of the same yeah. thing. <laughs> so he was interested because he's like, I might as well have two. I mean, it's like, <laughs> two robot bitches. I wanted to see which one's better. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Well, Ugh. the auto blow is fucking pathetic. It is a sad excuse, a waste of money. And now I have a drawer in my house where like, I'm afraid of somebody opening it because there's just giant, <laughs> it's like a bell. robotic dick sucking <laughs> machine. <laughs> Yeah, that's like really crude to yeah. see. If you, like if your mom saw that or something, yeah. like yeah. Geez, it's got uh, lipstick it's a, on it too, and it's, it's so yeah. normal for like if you find a girl's vibrator or something, eh, whatever, it's just yeah. a vibrator. Like every every girl's got one. Not every guy has like this <laughs> level. It's a mouth. It fucking talks and shit. Yeah, it's man, got a, a mouth on it. It's got mod, yeah. lips and everything. It doesn't have yeah. a tongue. Way too involved. Though. Yeah. Wait, it's a. It's like the mouth and everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a big full it pair does, of lips. It doesn't have a nose, Fuck. so you don't have anything to fucking like yeah. pinch and suffocate yeah. it. But it's got <laughs> just the mouth. Up in. <laughs> it's got just the mouth. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, bro. Uh, yeah. No teeth or anything, though. But... Three stooges, like, nose pull up on. Fish hook it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have anything like that. Yeah. Uh, we should send in all these suggestions, too. I think we've talked about this. Auto auto maybe blow like a maybe. merger and acquisition between Tesla <laughs> and Auto Blow AI mm-hmm. company. We, we think it would be more personable if it had a mouth and lips. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, we've got a great idea. Yeah. So, uh, we want the throat to be bot. realistic. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah just, we should have a. Yeah, they should just make yeah full what body. Is it, what is it going to be used for? Who's going to buy a fucking Tesla robot? Let's be real. Got, the, yeah, uh, the first thing that's going to happen <laughs> in those things is someone's going to put a suction cup dildo right where its dick goes. Uh, yeah, yeah. stick it on there. Do deadlifts. Yeah. 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 Well, you can program it to do stuff. That is like the easiest yeah, thing can. to replicate is like a yeah. hump. It take me 35 minutes, but I've never even seen the software. I guarantee you 35 minutes. I could get one thrust and then just go repeat. Get the suction cup dildo. It would be are the they, easiest thing. Are, are you sure you can just program them to do stuff? There's no I way, right? There has to be like a key, There's like no a key framing way. thing like, where you just like you move would the make, pelvis they, and you go, dude, remember that position. If, move the pelvis back. Remember that position. Yeah. Maybe. It just I feel like seem... it's gotta. I feel like yeah. it's gotta for forty thousand bucks. You gotta be able to do whatever the fuck. But you like want then people could do crazy shit, right? And they maybe they get sued or something. Like you know, like, program like choke old woman. Like <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's like, safe for software. humans on the advertising. It says safe for humans. Mm. Yeah. Oh. They, like, wow. So like it, it won't. It'll recognize no the human and say don't. So you can hump, but you can't choke. Okay, but. But that in mind, what, if I what you could do oh, is much like Ocean's Eleven, where they, they recreate the heist by re- rebuilding uh, the entire vault. You could rebuild a vault and train it and do the whole keyframe thing to break in and then just send true. that. <laughs> the keyframe. Yeah. Just send that fucker into the bank. Yeah, just be like, yeah. Yeah. and if it doesn't work, you're like Plankton from SpongeBob every day. <laughs> One of these is getting through. Robot. They can fool yeah. one heist. <laughs> But if you're sending thousands of these things in, one of these is going to get there. <laughs> They're going to end up relocating the bank. They're just going to... It's like... Yeah, we have we have a fucking Tesla robot that comes in every night, every every day at nine in the morning, just on cue. The door is open. The security <laughs> guard is worn out right by morning. Like he's, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, been, he's been beating this thing with a crowbar <laughs> for hours. <laughs> Oh, yeah. man. Uh, and then uh, you know it's machine learning every time it gets a little bit better yeah man yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyways you've been I, a good guest I, I think that's about everything oh, right okay. <laughs> hey look i could go for longer my sushi's about to get here oh, really? isn't the pod oh, my god I, I researched the podcast don't you guys do like two hour long episodes yeah we usually do but uh we cut them short if the guest sucks Oh. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we, you were like we, we, you were like we need to push this thing back. I figured you had yeah. something to do. Yeah, there are. I I did. Here's the thing. I say yes to too many things, yeah. which is why I'm on this fucking show in the first place. Yeah. So I have another podcast to be on on the other. I have to drive to the other side of Jesus fucking Christ. Austin. Oh, it's gonna mm. be like an hour trip, and then it's a D and D podcast with a with a. Oh. Yeah, nice. well, I'm I'm going back on just roll with it, which is one of my buddies oh. who's on Chuckle Sandwich. You know, we do the whole. Yeah, not whole interested. Thing. We yeah. thought it was it's Dungeons not, and Daddies. Yeah, yeah. thought it was Dungeons <laughs> and Daddies. No. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm filming a, uh, an episode with my good buddy Arcadum, or whatever his fucking name is. Uh, and then I'm coming back here to film two shows. 
uh, later tonight. So Jesus just Christ. Fucking uh, I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons for one of the first times tomorrow. I'm very excited. Oh, really? It's fun. Yeah. It's My fun, dad man. and grandpa used to like it, but... They didn't get any pussy, so nerd. I thought maybe, yeah, I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't, but that shit. it's not but, working, so. So I was, like, looking at your, your channel and your Twitch and everything, and there's, like, no, there's nothing going on, but you're still, you're still. No, I don't do anything. Yeah, you still, like, do guest appearances on stuff in order yeah, to keep that. I don't, up, I don't, I haven't streamed in two years. Um, I upload, sure. like, once a month. And yet you're uh, everywhere. I do a lot of, Curious. yeah, it's the thing. I, I literally do say yes to everything. Uh -huh. um, so I, I'll, I'll be on a lot of shit. Um, Can I have your stream key? Yeah. <laughs> no, because I'm going to come oh, back. I'm going to come back and watch Daily Dose for a living. And, uh, you know, that'll, that'll be once, once I feel my relevancy start to wane, that's when you're going to mm. see, oh, you know, Schleit's nice. back on Twitch. Mm. Doing your own game shows and stuff. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. You can tell your relevancy's gone when you start doing stuff like Wubby, where you just fly yeah. on and have 17 <laughs> employees. Yeah. And when you start putting <laughs> effort into your stuff, that's yeah. how once you know. You get, once yeah. you get someone named Peanut, that's when you're yeah. like, oh, mm. fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fucking kill myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I uh, never thought I'd see the day where I had to hire two Mexicans to do this stream with me. <laughs> <laughs> This fucking really bottom did, of the barrel. Did you, now. did you figure out their like lore? Like, how did they meet? Do you know, I have no fucking idea. I think, uh, well, I know Peanut used to live in Austin. I think Wubby just straight up poached him to San Diego. Mm. Um, damn. I don't know how. He must be paying him a lot. Yeah. It's I'd crazy. imagine it's not bad. He does, like, they probably have a couple channels too, right? Or maybe they only have one. I, uh, I have no fucking idea. I don't, I don't research know. guests. I think one might yeah. manage the YouTube, like the clip channel or like highlights or something. I don't know. I didn't dig too deep. I was, I was too worried about getting, you know, being the perfect performer on the prices. Right. Yeah. That's gotta be stressful. You know, well, maybe you're probably, Oh, I was very drunk. That kind of stuff. I was drunk. Okay. Oh yeah. That yeah. There's a lot go. of drinking going on. Yeah. yeah. He said that there, there was, I don't think he's ever done a, a sober live stream. That's what he said. No. Yeah. No. That's kind of weird. Yeah, the, uh, um, what were you going to say, Poob? I'm sorry. I was going to say, and I get called oh. an alcoholic, you know, but this guy's a hero for never <laughs> doing his sober part. Well, the difference <laughs> is, is he's providing something in the form of entertainment, yeah. whereas you get yeah, blackout just, drunk oh. and just crash a scooter <laughs> and, and sit by yourself yeah. crying on the couch yeah. about love lost. There's yeah, a difference. <laughs> yeah, there's, oh, one's a public display for entertainment. The uh, other one's just the sad. The rich get richer. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, if you just uh. brought your drinking to the public forum, you would be just as successful as he is. I am not going to do that. I, I, I need help. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually haven't been drinking much lately. Uh, Did you say you had a hangover from yesterday? Yeah. Much. Okay. Much. You, you messaged well, and you're like, can I we win. move this yeah. thing up to like yeah. one? And poop yeah. specifically, you notice how it was like one on Friday and then one on Saturday and then it got moved back to like, or yeah, to, one, to yeah, like to three, three on Sunday. Like, I'm yeah. doing a lot of drinking on Saturday. So like if we can move it back to three. Yeah. 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 I ended up cutting my day short yesterday though. Was it on? Oh, I'm not. Because of this podcast? That was a little bit Schlatt's fault. Yeah, kind of ruined my... my no, I'm just kidding. Okay. I, I, I'm just, like, getting old, I guess. Uh, after the first day, I was like, there's no fucking way I want to go out again tonight. Mm. Like, uh, I just came home early. Damn. But uh, I don't know. It wasn't even that fun. We slept in, missed the tailgate. <laughs> it was good seeing, like, the people I saw, but that was... Is the, is the worst part of doing football actually, like, watching the game? The, the it can be fun but it was so goddamn hot like i wouldn't want to be in a stadium or anything yeah where are you guys like, all from indiana we're all from indiana <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah we're all from the yeah. same <laughs> little town indiana born and bred no, i'm in yeah. tallahassee florida <laughs> yeah and i'm in canada yeah, yeah. Brian's ontario in canada. yeah oh. but eventually i'm gonna get a gamer house i'm gonna move everybody oh, into yeah. it yeah. yeah we're gonna start knocking out walls yeah, I'm gonna get the. Should, I'm gonna get an get engineer to do a structural Have assessment a of the house. Build it. We yeah. knock out a lot of the like load bearing walls in Poob's room, <laughs> and then uh, and then uh, and then, uh, and then it'll be statue in there. Well, I'll, when I notice relevancy's going down and everything, <clears throat> kill me. And paying publicity. paying these people yeah. gets kind of expensive, and so uh, yeah. he dies. I get to make a banger episode about 
employee being it's gone. Death. You get to save on his salary. Mm-hmm. It's and a then win-win. You clickbait the next episode. You're like, our new member. Yeah, our new member. Yeah. yeah that could be exciting. A Mexican. He's the new Mexican. Fucking peanuts on. Yeah. Yep. And uh, and he'll be the new man. That's too and high. And you could kill him eventually. Eventually. But no, in order to get him, you know, Wubby's paying him way outside my bracket. I, oh, yeah, absolutely. You guys get like minimum wage, and I'm sure he gets yeah. more than that. Probably makes more than you. Probably. <laughs> he probably <laughs> does make more than you. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how All do right. you like uh, Austin? Oh, never mind. No, you're done. Uh, we're we're, we're going to end the podcast. Over. Okay. He is this disengaged. One's done. Yeah. His sushi's curious. almost here. You can tell he Dude, doesn't care. Yeah. Uh, my sushi's <laughs> here in five minutes. I got five minutes till my sushi's here, bro. All right. Go, you poop, make go. this Make this count, Poop. Yeah. Um, <sighs> what are you going to say? How's Austin? This you're going to say, be how's the funniest Austin? shit no, you've ever gonna... said. Uh, yeah, it wasn't going to be a joke. I just genuinely had some friends that moved there recently and was curious. <laughs> also, you said you're from New York. I, I'm kind of pondering a potential New York move in the next couple of years. Any? Uh, well, thought, now that Cuomo's it? gone, it might be a little better. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I didn't like New York because, I mean, there's not... As, a, apart from my beautiful family, who I love very much, uh, there was fucking nothing there for me. Um, and so, like, no one does this job in New York. It's either Austin or Los Fair Angeles. Place, if you're going to make, like, a... If you're going for collaborations and, like, to be in the in the lifestyle, then it's Austin or, or Los Angeles. And I fucking hate Los Angeles, bro. Yeah. I can, I can go to L.A. for, like, a couple days, and then I'll start to feel sick. How important is the collaboration? I don't even know. See, I love Austin, right? And it's, I haven't even been collaborating with people, to be honest with you. It's just better to be around people who kind of get it, in my opinion. Didn't you just say you have three different shows that aren't your own that you're doing today? (laughs) Well, I just started. I just started. I've been here since, I've been here since like February, man. Oh, okay. And um, I really wasn't doing much in terms of like making videos with people. Um. And uh, it was just more so just hanging around them and getting to know people who do this job. And yeah, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, yeah, basically surround collapse. myself with uh, neats. Is yeah. really like every every friend yeah. I have on Discord, they're all just mid twenties, don't have a job, don't aren't educated, mm-hmm. uh, living with their mom. Yeah. And it really jump starts your in the same way that you surround yourself with people that are ambitious and have uh, dreams and everything. And you go, man, that's like that's beautiful. You get to sit there and it, it amps you up, you know, mm-hmm. almost like you're, I don't know, like a German soldier and all your friends at war are taking coke and everything before charging into battle. It's a, oh, this is, you know, I got the same vibe going on. But I, mine's almost what like I get to sit there about? on Discord <laughs> surrounded by these fucking gross little people, and I, I don't want to be yeah. like them. And so <laughs> That's fair. It, it no, makes me go. Both are equally motivated. Yeah, I go talk to them for four minutes. I go, I got to go edit something. <laughs> this is fucking the most depressing <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. That's true. I remember uh, uh, Steve in the Discord was heralded as like a champion. He's, he made it. He's a first-class member of society because he got a job delivering pizzas. Everybody was, like, everybody was like, holy shit. Steve, he made Steve, it. Steve. Yeah. He, made yeah. it. he made it he out of the rat the race. Barrier. Yeah. He broke He's free. He's bringing us with him. He's, and he comes home with those paychecks like, dude, you would not believe the amount of money I got counting fives out. And I was like, you got to go start a podcast or Today something. Was a good day for <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was depressing. Um, anyway, well, yeah, gentlemen, so third time ending here. this. Yeah. Go eat your sushi. Uh, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, nice to nice to meet all you. You're Ryan, welcome for the Poob. opportunity. I hope this uh, collaboration yeah. oh, this works out help. for you. We've really been help, over man. backwards. <laughs> this, to, is to, this is really going to help them out here.